All right now, enough training. Now it's time to compete. guys I just arrived in my room after the training and I will change room because there is a nightclub right upstairs uh, and uh, it will be like this the whole week so for me it's no chance to sleep so I asked for another room so uh, yes now I will uh, just move everything now Alright guys, I'm uh, in my new room and it's actually better than uh, than uh, the one that I had. But uh, to be fair, uh, it's quite annoying that uh, like the hotel like put like put some players just below a nightclub and they know that we are actually here to play a tournament. So yeah, that was not so smart. But anyway, I got a better room. So yeah. So let's see what are the result of my new video. Timo Ernst. Uh, I have 15 minutes left before to go to my training camp. And then your video pops up. I hope that you still went to your training training camp, man. <laughs> Rational TT analyst. Super video as always. Just curious to just curious, do you pay your own transport and entry fee to uh, Tunisia World Tunisia World Championships? Uh, yes, I do. I uh, pay everything by myself, or yeah, I just have help from sponsors, of course. But yeah, it's it's basically yeah by, by myself. Craziest D seventy five twenty three. So glad that I found your channel, Iba. 
This video gives me so much insp inspiration for my own practice and super cool insight into professional table tennis. I'm really happy that you feel that way and actually this is my goal. For me, my goal is to show you what it's like to be a professional uh, table tennis or athlete. So there's of course some pros and some cons, but uh, yeah, I'm very glad that uh, this video inspired you. Yo, Medi, what's up? Welcome what's up, back guys? to well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank long you, time, you. long time long no time see. see huh? Yes, it was good summer. Huh? Yes. Two months. What did you do this summer? I played these Arabic games in Algeria. It was a good atmosphere, but not the result I expected. And then I got some holidays, like one week. And then a good preparation to Taiwan, also with some French guys and Singapore team. And then I went to Montpellier for one week and last week in uh, INSEP. So I feel good and ready for this season. Strong, strong preparation. Yeah. <laughs> we will see from tomorrow. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You, you want to... Yes. Pay and accreditation. Pesle bien. Ay, ay. Thank you, thank you very much. On the accreditation, both is I have to get there. Both will give you the referee. Okay, okay perfect. Thank you. Yo, what's up guys? Practice done with Mehdi Bulusa. Tomorrow I'm playing against uh, Abdelaziz Youssef. Left-handed from uh, Egypt. Uh, good player, good service and uh, quite complete player. But yes, we will see and uh, tomorrow at 4.40 I'm playing against him. So wish me good luck guys. Don't be afraid, won't let you fall. T'es prêt à manger dehors si c'est nul ou pas Ouais. Il fait combien de degrés dehors Ah aujourd'hui. Ouais, il a l'air de faire un peu là. 14. Quoi 14 degrés là Il fait du soleil mais il fait 14. Il fait la chambre, il fait les fêtes. Bah c'est parce qu'on a la glace, on ouais. a la gueule. T'as bien dormi Pas ouf hein. Je suis réveillé je pense 10 fois. Ah ouais Je vais regarder sur mon appel. Ouh il y a des crêpes. Ouh il y a des crêpes. Mon offre carrière, je me suis couché à 2h30 du matin je pense. Bon, j'ai raté Spider-Man, Venom. <rire> Impossible de dormir. C'est ouf.
Yo, what's up guys? Back in the room. I'm very happy to win this match. <sighs> yes, this one, I really get it like from the, from the guts, you know, like... To be honest, I'm very happy because it's not often that I win when I'm like down from 2-0, especially, especially when I'm like, when I'm having match ball against me. So maybe something that happened clicked in my, in my head, but yes, I'm very happy. The problem that I have, I think, is that I didn't play matches for a long time, so it was very difficult to uh, get my like my rhythm back you know to the matches you know even if I play a lot of matches and even the my training is like really maturated training that I have when you go and you have to give your racket and it's a referee and you're in an official hole and everything it's different it's different so anyway I'm very happy for this match now I will uh, be in my room make my recovery session and get ready for tomorrow I'm playing against Park from Korea so wish me good luck like and maybe maybe something good will come out of this jolly what's up guys back in the room after a tough match um, yeah that's the sport sometimes you lose 2 zero and you get to win and sometimes you lead 2 zero and then you get to lose so uh, it's hard because I think that I was playing very good to be honest like I was good I was feeling good all the things that I was was working on before I think that I improved them it's just like at one moment everything switched off and yeah I don't know don't, I really can't explain this so anyway, like it's uh, tough also against Asian players because they don't have uh, like so much emotions when they play. So you actually don't know when you have momentum or not, and it's just like yeah, they play a little bit like careless. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this vlog. Uh, very disappointed for of my first tournament. Mixed feeling, but yeah, on to the next one. Thank you guys, and see you soon. <laughs> 